In this video, we'll cover Maven repositories and in particular, private repos. So we've already covered local repos. We've covered the Maven central repository. Now we'll talk about the idea of a private repository. So what's the use case for a private repository? Say for example, at your company, you've created some super top secret code modules and you'd like to share this with other development teams at your company, but you'd like to keep it private. So these super top secret modules, you don't want to share with the public. So what we'll do is we'll set up a server in house. So we'll set up our own private Maven repository at our company. And we can actually secure this with credentials like a user ID and password. And so then we'll create those super top secret projects and then we'll publish them on our private repository, our private server. And then our development teams can easily access our private repo using their user ID and passwords. So here we're not sharing it with the outside world, only available with authorized credentialed users. Now what you need to do is actually set up a Maven server at your company. So you can make use of one of these server products. So here's one product called Archiva from the Apache group. There's another one, Artifactory from JFrog. And then probably the most popular Maven repository server is Nexus from Sonotype, because Sonotype has a long history with Maven. Uh, they were some of the original committers on the Maven project. Anyways, uh, these products are out there. Here are the websites that are listed on the far right. Uh, they have free versions available that you can download and get started with. And they also have paid versions and they also have paid support, training and so on. So you can start as cheap as you'd like and you can kind of upgrade over time as you need it. But visit those websites. They have tons of documentation on how to use the product, how to set up security, how to do LDAP roles, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of good stuff because these folks, they really want you to use their product. So if you don't want to actually host a Maven repository internally at your company, you can make use of a cloud hosted solution. So you can go ahead and check out some of these sites here. One of them is called packagecloud.io and the other one is mymavenrepo.com. Uh, they have others out there. Uh, this is a very new space. Um, so you can kind of just do a Google search for Maven cloud host and you'll find some other links here and other services that can help you out with hosting your code in the cloud if you'd like to take that route. Okay, so this was good stuff. So I spoke about private repos. Uh, you can go ahead and check those websites. They'll give you all the documentation on how to set up those servers, how to connect to them, how to set up security and so on. Plenty of docs on how to get that going. But anyways, I wanted to kind of let you know, hey, these private repos are available and you can run them and set them up for your specific use case for those super top secret projects. All right.